So here we have a track view of a recording session in Sonar 8.5. Uh, this is a recording of a group of ladies singing Moon Glow. We have three vocalists and three instrumentalists, plus um, a stereo ambient mic for the room, plus a synthesized bass line and synthesized string lines. The idea of this exercise is to show how to set this up for mixing using the console view um, in Sonar 8.5, which is a much better environment for mixing and uh, concentrating on getting a good balance for the final mix. So let's take a look at this track view and see what we've got. I'm assuming that all the tracks are fine and that there's no work to be done on the uh, track data itself. Um, actually there is, but in this case we're just going to imagine that that's already done. But the first thing I'm noticing before I'm going to use a console view, I want to make sure I have good track names uh, so as it comes up in the console view, there is not so much space for the full name to be written out horizontally. So I'm going to rename these tracks first before I move on. So let's call this Stereo Ambient. Um, yeah, the, this is definitely a drum track, but let's reduce it a little bit. Bass. So drum track and track. This is an accordion. Strings. Okay, so now our tracks are named a little bit better. Because the idea of this exercise is to show you how to set up send buses, um, let's let's have a look at the buses, see what we've got here. None. Good. Usually when you start a project in Sonar 8.5, it will create at least a master bus and perhaps a metronome bus for you. But here we've got none. They would show up in this area. So we're ready to go to the console view and uh, build the buses that we need. So up to the Views menu here, Views, and Console. OK, here's a picture of our console. And by the way, note that I've still got my large transport control here. I'm going to need that. So let's just pop that right up in the corner here. So here we have our stereo ambient track, our drums track, accordion track, uh, piano, vocals one, two, three, and so on. Over here on the far right, this is my output. This is the audio box that I'm using. It happens to be a PreSonus um, USB audio box. And this is describing the output at the audio box itself. So all of these track sends are now sent directly to this audio box. There is nowhere in this channel strip that I can put effects or anything like that. If I want to do that, I need a master bus. So the first thing that I'm going to do is right click in this area. Insert a stereo bus. Okay, here is my stereo bus. And I'm going to name it. And I'm going to call this the master. Now that I've got a master bus, I need to send my individual tracks to the master bus rather than sending them directly to the output. At the moment, if I play the music, let's just play a piece. We're somewhere in the middle of the tune here. Notice what I do here does nothing. That's because these tracks are being sent directly to the output. Okay. Wait for a moment, ladies. Now let's send these tracks to the master bus. Here is where the tracks are sent. Output to the audio box, no. Output to the master. Every track is now going to the master. This way, my tracks are going to be mixed down to a master bus on which I can insert some overall effects if I need it, such as compression. Let's just play again, and we will now see my master control is working. And here, if I drop in an effect, perhaps compression, if I'm recording a CD, and it will work on the whole mix. Main point of this exercise, however, was to set up a send bus. So let's build a bus. Again, insert stereo bus. And functionally, these are all the same. All the buses are the same. So let's name this one and let's call this bus Reverb. And because we've decided that this is a reverb bus, I think it'd be a good idea to put in a reverb effects unit in the uh, effects bin here. So I'm going to right click in here and an audio effects. I'm going to choose a reverb 
and uh, in fact I'm going to go to sonitus and take the sonitus reverb um, let's, ju let's choose a there we are how about female vocals okay let's play our music again so the issue is how am I going to get reverb now on each track well let's choose a track let's choose vocal one and let's say we want to put a bit of reverb on this track what we need to do is send some of the output of this track to this send bus this bus where we have put our reverb unit so let's go to the vocal track let's right click in the send section and just click on reverb these names here are the names that we wrote on our buses there's the master there's the reverb and this is a send so we're going to send some of this signal to reverb this is my mount control here so I'm going to put that down to zero and just play the music let's turn up our master and if I increase this I think you can now hear the reverb coming in this signal is being sent to this bus and on this bus I have reverb if I pull this fader down reverb is gone I put it up the nice thing about this configuration is that as I send each track to the reverb, probably in differing amounts, I now have one control which will control the overall level of reverb for the whole, for all of the tracks, but it will keep the relative mix in place for me. So now what I need to do is just repeat the process of sending a little of each track to the reverb. So right click, reverb, right click, reverb. I could do a control all and select the send bus and it would automatically fill these in for me but I'm just putting them in one at a time at the moment okay so now I've got a send for each track this green button here is the on off button for each track that will just turn the send on and off now by adjusting this control here I can send a different amount of signal for each track to the reverb and then I can mix the overall amount of reserve that is coming in to the master bus okay because this guy actually I want him to go to the master bus it was going directly to the output is now controlling the overall level of the reverb ready to proceed with our mix and just adjust the amount of reverb on each track there's our overall reverb level that's making it completely dry our individual amounts are set obviously on each track there we go so that is setting up a send bus in order to allow you to put just one reverb processor on your mix and send a different amount of each channel to the reverb. Oh.